Good morning, it is Jane with Battle River Homesteaders. It is the end of September, beginning of October. I don't know if it's the 30th of September or the 1st of October. Either way, I got my coffee. Super nice out. Kittens, we need to move so you guys don't get ran over. Got, whoa, got some kittens. Um, So I thought I would just watch a city. I thought I would you guys along on our day so our day i mean it's like 5 30 it's the end of our day we've been outside all day i have blisters on my feet from walking so freaking much but i figured i'd take you because i think i think it's about to get raunchy here or wild because we gotta go catch our sheep now i have two sheep up here already um sorry I need to introduce you to the one because we just brought him home. And then we brought up Velvet. So we didn't bring Velvet up. Her and her babies got out. Um, my bottle baby and then her actual baby. So we brought, they came up, they found their way up. We locked them up, yada, yada, yada. Um, but we have to go get uh, Wilma, sorry, Wilma. Velvet had two rams and we sold them. So we have to... Um, go bring up Velvet, who all I do is check her daily, feed her grain, and water her. Other than that, I haven't touched her all summer. So her and Jimmy have just been down over by the river, living their best lives, and we're going to go catch them. Our plan of attack is I got to go grab grain. We're going to take down a couple lamby jugs. Josh and the kids are coming. Excuse the mess, but here, where are they? There they are. This way? This way. So they're coming. Um, we're going to grab a crate, and then Josh says he's just going to hold Jimmy all the way up, and I will drive up. So, let's see how this goes. Oh, hello, Jimmy. So he was our bottle baby. Why will this not go up? Yeah, you ready to go up? And we will be eating him. Um, and there's Velvet. We brought her home in January. She likes green. So we're gonna put our pen. Um, I should probably go. Come on. Come on. Hey, come on. Hey, Josh. Oh, never mind. Hello, Jimmy. <laughs> You're such a good boy. Okay, goodbye. Velvet, you rat, get back here. You see them chase after me? Yeah. I see me videoing it. <laughs> so we kids are screaming we have created our little padlock area like I said we're not worried about Jimmy that boy would jump right into the truck we're worried about Velvet she was not very friendly when she came to us um, I have not done much to help that situation, but we're going to put her oats in. And we'll see if we can catch them, hopefully. We got oats, sheep. Come on, guys. Sheep. Sheep, sheep, sheep. Sheep, sheep, sheep. If I were you, I'd grab her. 
Well, shoot. Got her? You want to help plan her in? Oh, let me get the door for you. <laughs> okay. Girl. Get the side set up. And now we go. Okay. We made it up. Been hanging out time. Now. This is going to be supper one day. Okay. Come on. Let's put him away. It's getting dark. I got to move sheep. So that actually didn't go as bad as I thought it was going to. No, that was better. Than <laughs> Do you want me to open? Like, sorry, I put the summer water bowl right in the way. All right, go find your brother. He's out there. Oh, wow, that was rude. And he's in. Okay, now let's grab. You think you're gonna need my help with her? No. <laughs> if she gets loose, we're screwed. Actually, that's a lie, she'll come to Green. And she'd probably go to Wilma. She's gonna tip herself. How much do you think they weigh? I don't know. Oh I told dad probably like 150 pounds. 140? Probably close to 100. <laughs> <laughs> like they're beefy little animals. Yeah. All right. Done. Ooh. Those were the ones I thought would be an issue. <laughs> okay. So. Carlos. Facing her. That's okay. As long as she gets tagged, I don't care who gets her. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you got that on video. <laughs> Me too. All right, now let's go get our other two sheep and throw them in. He didn't grow really any better than Jimmy. Hey. Nope. Even leaving Jimmy intact. Are We're not eating my chickens. So I'm gonna fill you in a little bit. Um, Joshua was leaving me behind. Thanks, babe. So we originally got our two tu tunis, tunis, something or another rams. They're just we needed something for this fall, and we thought they'd be big enough. Jokes on me. I didn't realize bottle babies. I knew bottle babies. Really, 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 really. Um, they grew slow in calves, but I didn't realize how much slower they grow in sheep. So these two yahoos are not big enough. Kronk is gonna be our next year ram. So we went and got, if you let him out, he might just come. Got this beauty. Couscous. So we got Couscous, he is an Icelandic. Hi, pretty are you? He is a freaking doll and he's gonna stay our ram indefinitely. And this is Wilma. So we keep too many of his offspring. Okay, you thought Velvet um, was big. Wait for Wilma. Because she's like quite sizably bigger. Oh, look how pretty he is. So we've just been moving them around in the net all summer. Who are you taking? Hey, so now we're gonna go put Cusco with his girls. He's ready to go. Uh, Wilma's gonna stay there. 
Kusuko is gonna take Josh for a ride. Do you want me? Oh, he'll go. You can probably just lift him over the fence. <laughs> just don't like drop him. Guys, watch the baby. Do you wanna run to the feed shed and grab the customers? Oh, yeah. So before we let him out, as long as you guys don't go in the way of the video, we're going to, before we let Kus go out, we're going to, yeah, trim his hook. If she gets out, she comes to the grain. I've worked hard with her. Remember, she's bigger than velvet. Do you want me to go get her grain? She'd probably follow you for grain. You want me to grab her? I <laughs> say she's at the other side. Maybe she's going to give us more of a run for our money then. Oh, you turd. Wee! There she goes, right over that low spot. Wee! Okay, so everyone has moved. Joshua needs to move sheep more often. Apparently, it's a lot of work. Um, I can't he's my favorite. Come here. Switchy. Hi, Zuey. She's a little skinny, but her babies took a lot out of her. So we're getting there. But let's go see how our sheep are. Wilma's made it far. There's Velvet, Kronk, is that Jimmy? No, that's Cricket. Both of them are there. Oh, and there's Jimmy. Oops, sorry, I'm very blabbery. How unfocused that, oh, look how pretty that is. And then Cusco. See if he'd jump. And then Cusco is over there in the corner. Being barked at. Finley, our guard dog, is doing really good, you know? Let's go. Let's go see what's going on. Cusco! Finley! There's our geese. I believe Josh and I are just gonna throw... Karen, Reggie, and Veronica over the fence into this pen and they can pasture in here. Here's Finley! Hello. They say I'm not supposed to touch you. But you did eat all your food. Mom, get you more. Hi. Uh -huh. Oh, there's a baby, Josh. Do you have a baby? My herd. Okay, we're still going to go see what Cusco is doing over here. But they will. We are going to start feeding hay tonight because it's just that time of year. Our four geese. Well, Cusco's just over here enjoying life by himself. Does he know he has some girls he needs to jump? Anyways, I think that is it for our video. Um, Carlos, I finally got put in. Ooh, he's stinky. Finally got put in with our girls, so we should have babies. What? Did you just pee on yourself? Ah! Gross. We put them in in August, the August. middle of August. Yeah. So September, October, November, December, January, middle of January, beginning of February, we should have babies. Nope. So I think that is that. 
So I believe that is it. Josh is holding the baby. Our baby's faces don't go on social media, so sorry I can't show you. Um, but thanks for following our journey. And hopefully yeah. we have not an exciting winter, but a good one. So thanks for following our journey. Bye.